Good morning. Take your hand off the mouse. Quit scrolling. That's what my technicians, that's what they said this week that I should, that's how I should start these videos. Because yeah, this one's important. Actually, I have a training class this week and they are doing uh, really good. So I'm ahead of schedule. I have a little bit of time. I thought I'd hop on here because the always false instruction, that's an instruction that I see you guys post the most about and not fully understanding. In fact, in the last 24 hours, I've seen three posts that every time I'm just like, oh no, that's not quite right. So let's talk about what the always false instruction does and why not understanding what it does can cause us trouble. So in Studio 5000, I've created this basic program where this instruction is going to go look for one, local colon one colon o dot data dot zero, which I have wired to my green button, and it's going to turn on our green light. And so if I press the green button, my green light comes on and I let off of it, my green light goes off. Now this is a very basic one, so it doesn't make a lot of sense that we would do what we're doing, but let's say we needed to modify some code. And this is more than just simply, let's do a quick run edit, test it and assemble it. We're gonna be implementing something, so we need it in there and we need to test it. We probably need to you know, work on it some more. Maybe there's some planning involved. So it's gonna be a long time thing that we can't just simply test and untest. If we go in here and we're gonna put some new code in. So I'm gonna put a new wrong that's gonna replace our existing wrong. And I'm gonna bring a go look for our one down. And let's just make it the yellow button. Doesn't really matter that much for this exercise. We're gonna go for local colon one colon I data and one we're going to replace it with that and i'm still going to control the green light so bring down an output energize and we're going to go turn on local column one colon o dot data dot zero now we know we can't have both of these on at the same time we've had many video discussions about it but right now what we need to do is we need to disable wrong one when we go to test our new wrong. And I hear, you know, I've heard 30 year professionals be like, yeah, go ahead and AFI that wrong out. That way we can test this out. So let's start a wrong at it. And we're gonna bring down, in fact, let me go find. <laughs> and honestly, usually I just drag any old thing down and bring it in, but there it's on the program control tab. We're gonna bring down an AFI. And people tell me, and three of you posted this, that this will disable this wrong. So we're going to finalize this. And now we think that when we press the yellow button, it should make the green light operate. But when I press the yellow button, the green light doesn't come on. And even occasionally we can see it flickering. And this is because it's an always false instruction. And this is the difference between disabling a wrong and a wrong simply being evaluated as false. So if we go back in here and we right click our AFI instruction and go to instruction help, we actually see the root cause of the confusion. This first said, I, well actually the definition's awesome. Always false, that's all it is. And right here it says, the AFI instruction sets the enable out to false which means that that wrong would always be evaluated as false, whether it's true coming in or false coming in. And even if we come over here, the wrong condition in is false, it's gonna go out false. If it's true, it's gonna go out false. But then we have this statement right here, and one of you even pasted this in when you were describing how the AFI worked yesterday, as it says, Use the AFI instruction to temporarily disable a wrong while you're debugging your program. AFI disables all instruction on this wrong. And it doesn't, it makes them false. And this is the important difference in understanding that false instructions do things. Because if we look at our program, this output energize when it's false, it goes and writes a zero. So even when I press my yellow button, we're gonna have this going to look for a one. It is gonna see a one and it's gonna be true. And that is writing to this green light. 
But now the next rung, we have an always false instruction. And that means this rung is false. It's not disabled. And when this is false, it's going to write a zero to the green light. And even there, you can see it occasionally flickering because we have that RPI or that update that's not synchronous and it's occasionally flickering. And just to show a little bit of how unpredictable, and I wouldn't say unpredictable, it's perfectly predictable, but how this can throw you off is, what if we put this right below it? I'm gonna drag this yellow down here and we'll put that in. Looks exactly the same, but now if I press the green button, oops, if I press the green button, I hadn't had my full cup of coffee yet, then it kind of looks like it does work. But every so often, this light, in fact, you just probably saw it there, maybe the resolution got it, it's occasionally dipping out. So if we truly want to disable a wrong, we're gonna use the jump and the label instruction. So I am going to bring down a new wrong, and I am going to bring a go look for a one, examine on down, just so we have an easy way to toggle this. And, you know, honestly, I don't even need that there. And no, to make it just like the AFI, we're just gonna go to our program control tab, and we are going to bring a JMP instruction down. And I'm gonna call this disable old code. And notice I didn't even have to create that. I just made a spot. And then, Right along with the jump, you're going to have a label. And I'm going to, oops, we got to bring a new rung down. And I'm going to bring that down. And now we'll bring the label down. And I'm going to jump to this disable old code. So I can just click it, drag it over here. And so when this sees this JMP instruction, it's going to immediately go to the LBL. Now we have to have an output instruction in here. And here's a good example where you use this NOP. This is no operation. So I'm going to drop that down here. And then put our wrong edit for this one. Take that AFI out. And I'll hit the finalize button. And so now wrong one comes along and it sees a JMP instruction. And it immediately, when it sees this JMP, is going to go to whatever's listed right here, disabled old code. And that takes us down to disable old code here. So we have, in fact, disabled rung zero now. It does not matter whether this is true or false. This is never getting executed. And then we have a no operation, which just means, which, yeah, let's go ahead and look at that just so we see. No operation. It's just a placeholder. And so when it gets there, it's going to immediately go to this one. And now, when we press our yellow button, our green light will be on solid. And we let off of it, our green light will turn off. So there's a quick tip this morning before my guys get here. And you guys have a great day and have a great weekend.